And we're live, everybody, all around the world, coming to you from the United States of America here in the New York Tri-State area. I am your host, Jim Masters. So great to have you here. It's a, it's a cool name, isn't it? Because it's the name of the show, <laughs> the Jim Masters Show. This is our Entertainment Lifestyle Celebrity Talk Show series, back on the air again with another great episode. We've done a couple thousands of them now, which is amazing. You can see them all archived on our YouTube channel. We are very excited about this particular episode because we are doing a tribute. We're doing a celebration. We are honoring great friends of ours at Celtic Woman. It's really hard to believe that Celtic Woman is celebrating 20 years. Could you imagine that? 20 years that they have been performing, selling out, creating all kinds of terrific feel-good music, CDs, DVDs, PBS concert specials, and so much more. And we are so honored and excited. We're going to take you down memory lane, but we're also going to talk about some really cool things that are happening, like their tour. They're on the cusp of their phenomenal Celtic Woman 20th Anniversary Tour. In addition, there's new music out, DVD of the special, and all kinds of incredible things that are happening. And Mirren is joining us. Yes, she is one of the newest of the incredible vocalists from Celtic Woman, Mirren O'Mahony. You may remember she was a guest on our show maybe about a year and a half ago with... Uh, Megan Ruby Walsh, also from Celtic Woman. They were with us together. It was around Christmas time that we had them together, and it was fantastic. Uh, this really is something quite special. I want to let you know, if you didn't know, but many of you do because you watch our show all the time, and we welcome everybody watching all around the world, that I've had a 20-year relationship with Celtic Woman, which is quite amazing. And that is because of my work over the years on public television here in America on PBS. So when they first came over to the United States, I, of course, am a host, a television radio presenter, host, journalist, entertainer, and more. And one of the hats that I wear is the relationship as a host and presenter on public television here in America, PBS. So they were saying 20 years ago that there was this new special that was coming out from Ireland. It was supposed to be a one night only deal turned into a 20 year love affair with their fans. It was called Celtic Woman. And it was exciting to hear. And we saw the preview and everything. And it launched national, nationally on uh, television in America. And it was absolutely incredible. And it became a hit. Viewers were calling. The phones were ringing. And it was extraordinary. And it's been a real uh, historic situation, a relationship all these years. Now, I've become friends with so many of the ladies from Celtic Woman, past and present. And I'm excited about that. And I value that greatly. And it's been just amazing. So when I launched the Gym Masters show live, this show, our Entertainment Lifestyle Celebrity Talk Show series, so many of them have come on our show. Mairead Nesbitt, you know, is a dear friend. She's been with us multiple times. Orla Fallon's been here. Lisa Kelly's been here. You name it, they've been here on the show and many more to come as well. But let me take you back real quick. And then we're going to have Niran on the show in just a second. This was actually the very first time that I met the ladies of Celtic Woman. And look at the group, the original group there on the screen. Yeah, you recognize, of course, all of them there. And <laughs> Ray and Lisa and Chloe and Alex and everybody, the whole group right there for you. This was the very first time on PBS television here in America, on public television, when I interviewed them. They were brand new, fresh group, all new names, all new music. And it, again, it's been something very special ever since. So I've had an opportunity as well. And this is why I wanted to do a tribute special celebrating Celtic Woman. Um, had a wonderful friendship with them, but also I've had opportunities not only to you know host things on public television, their specials, interview them in the studios, but also MC several of their concerts, master of ceremonies, do the meets and greets too, where they meet supporters and viewers as well. And there we go back in time. Look at that photo, huh? I just wanted to celebrate again the many years, 20 years of Celtic Woman, this international all-female Irish ensemble that has sold millions of albums, that uh, sells out their concert tours. These are all this Chloe, of course. This is when I was emceeing one of their specials as well uh, at the concert hall. There is Chloe again. We just dug up a few pictures. This is 
of course, Megan and uh, right as well, Carlin. And there is Chloe. Yeah. Look at that. Susan McFadden, the whole group there and Maraid. And this was something special. This is when I was tasked by the governor of the state of Connecticut in the United States, Governor Daniel Malloy. It, this was St. Patrick's Day 2015. And I was asked and requested to present to Celtic woman on stage live, this very special official proclamation from the governor of the state of Connecticut, which was absolutely amazing and was just something that I just, you know, I was really excited about this. I was emceeing the concert for public television, but this was back in 2015 and it was Celtic Woman Day in Connecticut as designated by the governor. And that was back in 2015. And there's the stage behind me. And moments after this photo, we were on stage with Celtic Woman and presenting this very special state official proclamation to Celtic Woman. And how special was that? More great photos with the ladies over the years in studio, you know, interviewing them at the concerts on stage, behind the scenes with uh, the ladies as well. But again, with all the iterations and all the different cast members who have come through over the many years with Celtic Woman, it has stayed true to form with the sound, the look, the feel, updates here and there, but still has that uh, wonderful feeling connection that you've had with them and their music for so many years. This was in the PBS studio with Chloe Agnew. Here's the founder and creator, David Downs. This was the very first night when I met David, uh, the creator of Celtic Woman. There he is right there. And what an honor that was because he came and I interviewed him in the studio with the ladies. And this was on one of the very first nights when they came to America. So this is a very special picture as well. And of course, as I mentioned, great friendships have existed on and off screen with many of them. There's Mairead Nesbitt, who you've seen also on our show. We've been on stage together at Carnegie Hall and elsewhere. Uh, there, of course, is me in the studio on PBS uh, celebrating Celtic woman and other iterations at PBS uh, on camera hosting the Celtic woman specials and events and things of that nature, all their different specials and all of their different concerts and just really absolutely spectacular. But again, with all of that said, they have new music out, a new album, new DVD. They're celebrating their 20th anniversary. Hard to believe it's been 20 years. Their concert is going to be absolutely spectacular. If you saw the special, it was amazing, wasn't it? Well, now you get to see them in person. And there is some terrific, terrific shots from the actual television concert special. Yeah, they're coming to America as well. So make sure you go online. We'll tell you how to go to their website and everything in just a second. And here's some great shots of my special guest who's joining us. Uh, Mirren is coming here from London. And then she's on her way to... Ireland, yeah, and then she's coming to the States to uh, kick off the 20th anniversary tour for Celtic Woman. So this is really special. If you'd like to comment in our Lovety Hall chat room, we call it the Lovety Hall chat room, uh, you can comment right now, say hello, say hello to my special guest, tell us your memories of uh, Celtic Woman. You can chat in the chat room when you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV, or you can also leave a comment underneath the episode uh, as well on the YouTube channel. But without further ado, let me welcome live and direct from London. Her bags are packed. She's going to be hopping on a flight to Dublin in, a, in the morning and then coming to the States and then traveling with the ladies for the Celtic Woman Tour as they celebrate 20 years together. Here she is, a return guest to the Gym Master Show as well. Miren, welcome back to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here. And Glad happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> I've been so delighted to be on the show. Oh, I, I'm so excited too. And when we uh, put this all together, I initially said, you know, talking to the Celtic Woman management and the team and all of our, you know, connections and friends at Celtic Woman, I said, you know, I know they're busy, they're recording music, they're in the studio, they're doing rehearsals, they're getting ready for their big 20th anniversary tour, they just did that big PBS special, all these things going on for the ladies. But 
I'd love to put something together because we've had such a wonderful friendship and relationship. And I've always admired the individual talents and expertise and professionalism of all of you. And then collectively as well as a fantastic ensemble. So it all came together and they had mentioned that you were, you were jumping at the bit to say, I'd love to come back on the show because you were on with Megan Walsh and it was around Christmas time a year or so ago, which was a blast. So welcome back. Thank you so much. You're absolutely right. I was I was delighted with the opportunity because I, as I said to you, the last the last time I was on the show, I think was one of my first interviews, and I remember being slightly terrified. And you, <laughs> were the loveliest, most natural and welcoming uh, interviewer. So it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. The pleasure is all mine. It is hard to believe twenty years, and so many incredibly talented ladies have come through over the years as well. Remind our viewers how you got that call to be a part of this iconic group. Now it is legendary and iconic Celtic woman. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it goes without saying. Like Celtic woman is just kind of a staple piece growing up, especially as a female musician in Ireland. It's it's something you grow up watching, fantasizing about being in that dress on the stage. So when I I actually first came in contact with Susan McFadden and I did I did a concert with Susan, who you um I've seen lovely photos of yourselves there, so I know you know her well. And she and I really just kind of hit it off at the time and and she actually was was someone who played a key part in in kind of putting me in in the line of sight for um, a position with Celtic Woman. And we were actually in the throes of COVID at the time, so mm. I was in London, and there was a lot of kind of you know back and forth communication online as we are here and um, the joys of technology. And uh, finally got to meet the team roughly in the summertime of twenty twenty. I want to say twenty one. That might does that make sense? Twenty one. It's yeah. all a blur now, isn't it? Who yeah. remembers any yeah. of the years anymore? <laughs> I, I always say that BC. You know, they used to say BC was before Christ. Before now COVID. it's before COVID. <laughs> for sure, for sure, and uh, yeah. So then, it, it was, I have to say, it was a bit of a whirlwind. I think within a week, I was a week or two actually. I, I was in a recording studio. We were recording the postcards from Ireland. Um, oh, yeah. so we, we followed that with the special I think nearly a month later and I was kind of all all in the midst of that meeting meeting the girls who was um, it was Chloe Agnew, Megan Rolch and Tara McNeil at the time so I was becoming familiar with those girls and it's just been an absolute whirlwind dream come true ever since I, I never in my wildest dreams could have imagined that I would be able to first of all share the stage with such incredibly talented women and that goes for everyone that I have had the pleasure of sharing the stage with. Um, it really is just incredible to look out as well. I, I remember the first spring tour that I did, I was diligent on each time we did a sound check, I would look out into the audience and and just take in the, the atmosphere and just say to myself, appreciate this, you know, be grateful for where you are. Because of course, like during COVID, particularly self-employed artists, all all and so many so many other professions had no idea whether they would resume their work again. So that in particular was was extremely poignant for me. So it's just been phenomenal. And I, I've had such a an incredible time working with everyone that I have done for the past nearly three years now. It's incredible too. And you know you're on the heels of that very successful postcards from Ireland and you're carrying on that incredible legacy of uplifting performances packed with the breathtaking harmonies and the incredible instrumental virtuosity. I mean, you are surrounded by lots of incredibly talented people from producers and directors, but also, you know, the stage people, the creators, um, and also fellow musicians too, who back, the vocalists, uh, they are all talented unto themselves. So it is a wonderful, it's become like a wonderful family. And as you are bringing this all new live show to celebrate the 20th anniversary to, uh, and coming to North America, it's quite exciting, isn't it? What, what are some things you think that people can expect, especially, you know, they've seen that fabulous PBS special mm -hmm. celebrating the 20th anniversary, which was a work of art. Now you're going to be doing the live performances. What are some things that you're excited about that are going to happen? 
Well, I'll go back on something you just said there, and you're absolutely right. We are blessed to work with the team that we work with, the musicians, the dancers, the creative team, the costuming, the, the stage design, the lighting, the sound, everything. And there's not a day goes by that really we like, it's not just, it's not just, you know, the four girls you see on stage. There's so many people who are involved in creating this incredible um, show and, and, and stage performance. Um, and I really feel like this, this upcoming tour that we have is just a celebration, I think, of, of the 20 years of Celtic Woman and, and how we've come to where we are today. And it's just so exciting to get to revisit some old music and reimagine it. We have a fantastic new musical director, Brian Byrne, who has just created some just otherworldly arrangements. I really just can't speak more highly of them. And um, we also have some brand new uh, original pieces in there as well. So it's just it's a it's a kind of a, a reimagination of Celtic Woman while also paying homage to to what has made it how we, how we've gotten to where we are today and and what's made it what it is today. And as I say, it's it's I always say it's such a pleasure for us to be able to bring. Irish culture and our, our heritage, particularly, of course, to the US. There's such strong Irish links and heritage um, all across the US. So for us to be able to look out um, into the first, second, third row and, and see how songs like Danny Boy, like Amazing Grace, really do impact people. And I think this is something that really, I think I was so taken aback by the very first time that I went out on tour. These are songs that we've kind of grown up with and and I wouldn't say that we took them for granted, but I suppose it's like something that you just have grown up learning as a child. So maybe you don't understand the full poignancy of it. And I think for me at that time, looking out and seeing people really be emotionally moved and affected by this music, that really kind of was a turning point for me and made me realize that actually this is what making music is about. And it's about connecting people. And of course, after COVID when you know people felt so isolated and and had been in isolation for so long that to be able to come back out into a live setting and and be able to feel that connection with people on a day-to-day -day basis was just absolutely oh it was a breath of fresh air and and I've always said the live performance there's nothing quite like a live performance the special is absolutely incredible and it's a fantastic capsule to have the live performances, I feel you're never going to get the same show twice, for the good and for bad. <laughs> so there, might be, there might be moments when, you know, your heel might go from you. You might end up on your bum on the floor. <laughs> but like, that's not that the, that ever has not happened, right? <laughs> right. I'll, I'll be touching wood ferociously now until we get out there. But, you know, and, and that's the beauty of live theatre. And, and it, it proves that it is, you know we're all human and and I think that's a beautifully human experience and to see you know things like that kind of live in the flesh there's nothing quite like it in my opinion how has your life changed being a part of Celtic woman too it's uh you know taken it to new levels of not just exposure but of growth as a performer and as a talent yourself too right absolutely oh immeasurably I mean if you had told Murrin two and a half years ago that I would be where I am now. I, I, I don't think I could quite have even comprehended it on and off stage. I think as a performer, I definitely started to find kind of my own, my own voice, my kind of nuances that I feel are kind of true to me. And I've really also delved into Irish music in a way that I hadn't done prior to this. I obviously have grown up with it, but really just kind of reconnecting with I mean, we, we're a nation of storytellers. That's, I mean, we're very fortunate to have poets and musicians really kind of a huge wealth of them come from Ireland. So to kind of be able to reconnect to that has been absolutely phenomenal. And I really think that Celtic Woman has given me that platform and that encouragement to do that. Off stage, it has also taught me so much about touring, about being being in close quarters with people for quite some time I mean it's it's phenomenal we we tour on a bus together so really you are around people 24 7. I was um, going to ask uh we've had of course you know uh, all the guys from Celtic Thunder on the show and they've talked about what it's like bunking together being on the bus for hours together traveling together you know they become like brothers sure. but there are some crazy things teasing and other kinds of crazy things that go on with the Celtic Thunder guys, which is funny. 
How about the Celtic women ladies? Uh, <laughs> do you guys have f pillow fights <laughs> behind the scenes as you're in those close quarters for days and days traveling from city to city and country to country? You know what? And as I said before, and I, I don't just say this to kind of gloss over it, we are blessed to work with the people that we work with. And I think really when it comes to a production like this and when you are touring to such a huge extent, I really think it's half and half talent and, you know, musicality. And the other half is really kind of how you are as like a team player and kind of being, and as I say, you are in close quarters and we are so fortunate that we have really, really brilliant people. The girls are phenomenal. And I don't just say that lightly. Everyone is just, if ever, and there are days, there are days that you're kind of missing home or, or you're having just an off day. You will never be left deal with anything on your own. If you need kind of a shoulder, if you need just kind of a quiet word, anything, you just, it, you really do become a family and it's, and it's, um, it's something special really to be a part of. And I think until you kind of are in that quite intense environment, you don't really don't understand how much, how important that is on the road and to have people kind of who have your back is just, yeah, it's, it's really special. It really, really is. So what's the rehearsals like now? Because you're getting ready behind the scenes to, to make the magic. What's that like now? Yes, so we have just come to the end of our rehearsal stint. So we are all but ready to go. We get out to Nashville, uh, we fly on Sunday and we will be into a week of tech. So that those days can be pretty long. It's a lot of kind of making sure lights are in the right um, direction. We have um, mics and in-ears. So it's making sure that the sound is um, all up to scratch and everything. But the last two weeks has been really phenomenal. A lot of us, we might not have seen each other since the Helix special, a lot of, a lot of the musicians and, and everything like that. So it's been a fantastic opportunity to catch up with everyone. Um, but really just to kind of, Oh, lean into the beauty of this of this music and this production um once again and and as i say as the tour progresses more nuances will be found but in the last two weeks yeah we've had we've had dance rehearsals we've had um singing and band band calls and everything like that so it's it's, it's going to be magical and i and i'm not just saying that it's it's, yes. it's very exciting, exciting oh, time you know I've brought people, family, friends, colleagues to Celtic Woman concerts, even ones where I haven't, you know, been behind the scenes, maybe helping with the meets and greets or doing stage welcomes or thank yous or what have you, or, mm -hmm. or interviews on television. And everybody that I've brought, loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, they absolutely love it. They love the way you guys play off each other. There's also <laughs> humor as well that you acknowledge and appreciate and value the audience mm -hmm. and you you know have some play with them as well how incredibly staged from a production standpoint how beautiful and, and elegant but yet warm and approachable and fun uh and also the selections of songs and the rhythms and just the certain feeling you're left with everybody says you guys knock it out of the park and from every aspect of the production music lighting staging all of it people absolutely love it and there really isn't anything like it you can go to a celtic woman concert and you really won't find things out there that really replicate what you guys have mastered bless you that's so kind and you know it's it's to hear you say that really kind of does make it all worth it and and we wouldn't be where we are only for the support of the fans of Celtic Women so for us to be able to kind of give back and and connect as you said before we we often have meet and greets and to kind of be able to put faces to a lot of fan names that we might have come across um it's just really it's it's fantastic and I think it really makes it brings a real like human aspect to what otherwise might be a bit more of a commercial show and and for us it's like it's just really special to be able to connect on, with people on that level so for you to say that kind of we bring that um i suppose warm element and i, I hope approachable kind of element to as well is um that's all we can ask for <laughs> and, and you guys i mean if, if folks viewing uh learning about celtic woman which hard to believe after 20 years but there's always new people discovering entertainment and entertainers 
you know, you guys have done Christmas albums and all kinds of incredible music for this 20th anniversary tour. I know it's going to be a fresh blend of traditional and contemporary Irish music that echoes Ireland, Ireland's rich musical and cultural heritage while reflecting the vibrant spirit of modern Ireland. So you're taking the old school, the, you know, the history and culture of Ireland of yesteryear and blending it with the more modern Ireland, celebrating Irish music, Celtic, the culture, uh, the country, the people, which is kind of cool, huh? It's, as far as what people can expect as well with the concert. Absolutely, and do you know what? I think I think that's really important to touch on that. Um, of course, we are incredibly proud of our heritage, our, our traditional music, or you know, instrumentation, everything like that. But I I do think there is a lot to be said for the reimagination of traditional Irish music, and it's what keeps it alive, you know, and it's it it keeps it kind of relevant. Rele relevant relevant is the word I'm looking for and also um I think for people I'm growing up in Ireland who may not necessarily have you know the biggest interest in traditional Irish music it's a way in for them and I think that is what's so important about keeping um traditional Irish music and and just traditions alive is making it accessible to people who may not ordinarily have an interest in it or or have been exposed to it so I think for us to be able to do that, I think is so important in in the longevity of traditions like like that. So it's yeah, it's very exciting, and I think there's a, a wealth of of upcoming Irish artists as well who are doing that and and fusing Irish traditional music as well with different genres. And I think it's absolutely incredible to see because at the end of the day, we're all kind of we're all fighting the same fight, which is to keep keep Irish music and Irish culture alive and well. What do you think it is about Irish culture and music? And I've asked many people this who have come through, uh, whether it's on television or on this series, there's just a real affinity for everything and anything Irish. And I know when Riverdance came over, Celtic Woman came over, Celtic Thunder and the Irish tenors and all of this Irish flair and flavor came over to America and to Canada and around the world, it sort of created this love affair, this resurgence of appreciation for everything Irish. What do you think it is about the songs, the music, all of it, that people can't get enough of when it comes to things Irish? You know what, I, th I think I'll go back to what I said earlier, and I do think there's something about um, human connection. Um, as I say, we are a nation of storytellers, and be it whether it's through dance, through song, through playing, you know, traditional Irish flute. There's something about telling a story that I think people can resonate with. And um, of course, you mentioned us, um, those ourselves and other groups coming to the US and kind of finding our feet there. There's a wealth of people in the US who have such strong roots to Ireland and and hearing those kind of stories of their ancestors. Um, is touching and and I think that's what kind of has allowed for the longevity of of these kind of groups and I think is what continues to give it a future because there's just kind of a sense of of human connection and I think at the end of the day that is what ultimately we are all all looking for and I think in a world where we're so kind of you know good to our phones or or wanting the next new thing yesterday I think when it comes down to it we are just kind of at its purest form, looking for looking to connect and and to feel to feel love or, or to feel sadness, which I think is is can be evoked in this kind of music, and, and I think that is that is exactly what has allowed for these groups to continue for for such such a time that they have, which is really amazing, and and there's no stopping it; it just continues to to blossom and and grow on so many different levels. There's also uh, this is quite exciting. There's some singles too. I know my love, and here's another. You raise me up, and those are absolutely incredible. And people can go to uh, CelticWoman.com uh, to get them. But tell us about that too. The singles and the music that's out. Just as you put up the image there of um, you raise me up. Each time I see that, I actually can't quite believe it. Um, this was our first time, well, my first time meeting Lisa Kelly, um, Maraid Nesbitt. I had met Chloe and Maeve um, prior to that, but to be stood 
side by side with these icons, people who I have grown up watching. I, like I vividly remember um, seeing Lisa Kelly sing Caledonia um, as a young young girl and just being just so enamored by her. And there's, there was a moment and it's actually on, in the special during You Raise Me Up and um, or I think, yes, I think it's You Raise Me Up that we have, she and I have our hands um, around each other and I was just kind of like, what is going on? <laughs> this is Lisa Kelly stood next to me and I'm just totally, totally fangirling over her. And that is something that will just stay with me for the rest of my life. And I think it's something that the fans have been have been craving for so long is is emerging of, of old and new. And and we were blessed and just honored to have them on the stage. They're just Oh, their talent just knows no end and, and they're just the most amazing people so it, it really is kind of a, a highlight of my of my career and of my life to have have been able to share the stage with them it's incredible isn't it and when you think about it and all the years and everything this was uh i think maybe the second time i was with them on pbs married and lisa and just you know the sweetest of people and we've you know, stayed in touch over the years as well. And as I showed earlier, this is the very first, look at the original crew there. It's the very first time they were here in America on nationwide television in America and through Canada on PBS. And I was with them and it was just absolutely incredible. And then so many, you know, moments and laughs and everything else. And and that's what you guys do when you perform. It's It's like this sisterhood of incredible talent, which I think is really something quite special. I bet your family must be very proud and excited for you too, huh? Oh, I, th I don't think they know what to do with it. Similar <laughs> to myself, we're kind of like, what, what's going on? Um, they are extremely proud. I think every every parent and when their child tells them that they're going to, you know, follow a career in music or, or the arts, there's always a little bit of fear. <laughs> there's kind of a, a prayer sent out to them that all will be well. So yeah, they are they are incredibly proud, and I think for them to have been sat with me at home with a child watching Celtic Woman, it's equally completely bizarre for them as it is for myself. So, um, and just it's amazing seeing those photos there um, from the first PBS special. Like I don't like I don't think anyone could have foreseen how Celtic Woman was going to explode from that first that first um, PBS special in the Helix. Um, and I'm just so privileged that it has continued this long and has offered myself and the current girls the opportunity to to be on a world stage and to be able to travel the world doing what we love. It just, yeah, we couldn't ask for more. You know, it's amazing too. Since uh, 2005, Celtic Woman has sold over 10 million CDs and DVDs, has amassed more than three billion streams making it the only female act to achieve multi-platinum status and success in the classical crossover and world music genres during the past decade named billboard's number one world music artist of the year six times 12 of the studio cds have debuted at number one on billboard's world album chart and again celtic woman has also scored two top 10 albums on billboard's influential album chart and five top five dvds on billboard's top video chart as well as achieving platinum level sales in nine countries and the 2016 release of destiny was nominated for a grammy award in the category of best world music album making the group's first ever grammy nomination how cool is all that you know when you put the numbers together because you guys are busy doing the work but when you put those numbers together, you're like, oh, wow, we are making an impact, huh? I feel like I can't even take that on board. I don't think I've ever <laughs> had someone list off back to back the numbers, but it, it's uh, it's it's very it's impossible to internalize that and and the to be a part of that lineage. And, and it's just something that I can't even fully comprehend, really, and just I can only thank the incredible women who've come before me to, as I say, have allowed us to have this incredible platform. Um, it's it's a special family to be a part of. So you're getting ready. You have your bags packed, everything all packed and ready to go to Dublin and then come to North America, to the States? Just about. I'm a bit of a last minute packer, so there'll be a scramble in the morning. Um, but that's that's 
I can try and change, but it's never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we always like to interact with our viewers. So I just want to show you some of the wonderful comments that are coming in live since we are broadcasting live. Uh, Gary is watching and he says, good afternoon to Jim and all the loveties. You are already considered a Jim Master show lovety. Remember when you were first came on the show? <laughs> And uh, they're welcoming you back to the show as well. And uh, Merlin is watching in Canada and she's welcoming you here as well. And here's some more what? welcoming everybody's all excited. Look at this. Welcome to Lovety Hall, which is our nickname for the show. And this is really fantastic. Jen says Slancha. She's all excited. She's watching in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Kathleen is watching in New York City, which is really, really cool. Uh, Jen Barry, she's got her uh, Jameson Irish whiskey with her as she's watching. <laughs> I love to hear it. <laughs> Jen, it's only 2.30 in the afternoon Eastern time. <laughs> you know, it's like seven or so where she is, uh, you know, in London. That's more. But hey, as <laughs> long as you're with us, right? And uh, you like the pictures as well. And um, Katie, thank you very much. Super excited for this. Uh, you've got that. She's got the tickets for the concert on May 12th Amazing. and she's going to go to the show with her younger sister, which is cool. And uh, again, Celticwoman.com, get the tickets to, you know, the city near you loved being in the audience for the ancient land and 20th anniversary filming. That was so amazing. Tracy Dunn wanted to share that with you as well. Kathleen in New York city welcomes you. Katie welcomes you. Suji welcomes you as well. Katie also says, uh, can't believe that it's the 20th anniversary of the group. Tracy welcomes you uh, to the show. And Anne-Marie says, hello. <laughs> Tracy says, I'll see you in 12 days. She's counting the days <laughs> off the calendar for the concert. And uh, wow. And she says, I also can't believe that uh, Emma Warren is now a member of the group. I never knew she could even sing. See, now you do. <laughs> you, and uh, Kathleen says, can't believe it's 20 years. Such a talented group. Jen says, you're now a lovety. Tracy says, uh, let's see. I remember watching the concert you were in with Susan. And then you joined the group thinking, hey, I've seen her. <laughs> <laughs> you're perfect for Celtic woman. Such an amazing talent and gorgeous soul. Now, if you ever want to feel good, you just come on our show. Come on the Jim Master Show with all the lovety, right? Uh, Maureen's watching in Arizona, and uh, she just wrapped up her work day. She's so glad to be here. She's welcoming you to Lovety Hall as well as she watches in Arizona, USA. Good to see you, Maureen. Uh, Celtic Woman has the most amazing music and shows on earth. She thinks that... He, you are incredible with the group as well. Just a few of the comments strolling in here of the many comments. Jane in Sweden is watching and says hello and welcomes you in Sweden. And uh, has there any part of the world you haven't been to yet that you would like to go to? Any country you'd love to perform or? You know what? I, I would love, I've never been to kind of, I've never been to Japan. I know that Celtic women have toured there before, so I'm I'm hoping that it's in the works. Um, I would love, yeah, I would love to, I'd love to go all over really. But uh, we are so blessed to kind of be able to have such a, a stint now in the US coming up. So I'm, I'm taking it one step at a time. And there's parts of the US that I I still haven't seen and that I never thought I would get to see. So it's, it's, yeah, it's a it's a real pleasure. I tell you, they're all excited here. There's these nice comments that are coming in and uh, we really appreciate that. You got some love coming in from Amy in Cincinnati, Ohio. She's going to see you and Kel the rest of Celtic Woman in Cincinnati. Merlin in Ontario, Canada, congratulations on your success. And uh, as far as Jen in Pennsylvania having the Irish whiskey, Teresa says, well, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> well, that is... <laughs> That is very, very true, Teresa. Wrong? <laughs> Jen, you enjoy that and toast you as well. And Regina says, uh, I am excited for the San Antonio show, which is Love wonderful. San Antonio. And I will be, uh, oh, Jane also from Sweden says, congratulations, 20 years as well. And, and thanks for all these great comments. Don't forget, folks, you can comment with the show on and after the show as well. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys at uh, Mohegan Sun resort and casino, which is in Connecticut, that beautiful place. And that's 
that's a favorite venue of yours too, right? You enjoy that place. For sure. I, I'll never forget the first time that we arrived in there and I was like, we're performing here? And there, backstage, there, had, there were signatures on the walls from Lady Gaga and Britney Spears. And I was thinking, how am I here? Um, so yeah, Mohegan Sun is an all-time favorite. So I'm so delighted you're coming to that show. It's going to be an absolute celebration absolutely before we go because i know you got a pack and it's getting late there and you're flying off to dublin um what are some other things that you're doing as well in addition to getting ready for the tour with uh, celtic woman you're working on projects do you like to write do you like to cook do you like to garden what are some <laughs> things you like to do to balance everything out yeah i do actually i've only in the last i suppose year or so kind of delved into the writing world myself um and it's it's something that's kind of brought me a lot of a lot of pleasure i i love you know what i love the outdoors and i i've yeah. just come back from a trip from um from ireland there as well which entailed a lot of hiking a lot of sea swimming so a lot of wholesome things like that um and just catching up with with a really great support system that I have both in the UK and in Ireland. So um yeah, it's 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 nice to kind of find a balance like that. I suppose the 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 kind of uh more predictable stuff, love to read, love to, you know, go to the movies, all this kind of thing. Um yeah, it's it's important to to find balance for sure. <laughs> You know, it really, really is. And to, to be able to do that is a, is a absolutely beautiful thing. You need the balance and to, so you can come out of the gate fresh and, yeah. and you know, wear these stunning gowns, sing these fabulous <laughs> songs, entertain everybody in the way that you guys do and have been for 20 years now, which is truly extraordinary. Just wanted to show you hello from France. Hello. And Anne-Marie says, uh, it's good to see you uh, from France. Thank you. I said, welcome you back. I recognize that face and all the wonderful folks watching around the world. Safe travels. Enjoy your trip from Merlin. And Anne-Marie, uh, real quick, says, um, you were incredible in the last two Christmas symphony tours. Celtic Woman isn't, oh, I guess not coming to the area now this year, but uh, you hopefully will be there in another year they have you got quite a few dates on the docket for now right there's quite a few. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you are <laughs> i believe we're in we're in uh the us for 99 days and i think we have 80 four 85 shows within that time so it's it's a jam-packed schedule so hopefully if we're not catching people this time um please god we will be there the following year or indeed at christmas time that is a lot. I tell you, it really, really is. Well, you know, I don't want to take too much of your time and, and you're welcome back anytime. Feel free. Like I said last time, we keep the porch light open for all of our fabulous guests. And anytime you want to stop by, just say hello as you're working on things with Celtic Woman or even your own, you know, projects and experiences. Um, it's wonderful to have you here and to, to chat with you again. And especially on this auspicious occasion of 20 years of Celtic woman. It's very special. And again, I've always revered my friendship and relationship with everybody and uh, consider you friends. And you guys are multi-talented. You love what you do. You inspire people. You make them feel good. You take them away from the troubles of the day. And uh, I think that's a beautiful thing. So congratulations to, to you and to the whole gang. And please give the rest of the ladies and the whole crew, my very best. And mm -hmm. I will, of course, see you at Mohegan Sun. And I look forward to that. And um, I hope you enjoy the time with me as much as I absolutely have with you. Once again, it was really a blessing. Thank you so much, Jim. It's always such a pleasure. I genuinely mean that from the bottom of my heart. So I'd be delighted to keep in touch. And I can't wait to see you at Mohegan Sun. It's going to be an absolute celebration, as I said. Absolutely right. Congratulations once again. And high five. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. We call it a lovely high five. You're the best and uh, you uh, good, safe travels. You take care. Uh, I know you got packing to do and that's not always fun, but <laughs> it's very liberating when you're packed. Oh, yeah, it'll be about, a, I'd say there'll be still things being shoved in about five minutes before I have to leave tomorrow. But uh, look, yeah. old habits die hard. <laughs> It have right. You like to work under pressure, right? You, you guys, uh, you know, that's what gets the adrenaline. Right. 
that's basically what happens to me too. I'm up like midnight the night before still packing. And then all of a sudden I always have to think of all these other things. Yeah. Suddenly I have to do pay all the bills before we go do this before we go do the stuff you could have done probably days earlier, but all of a sudden you add this to the mix. Maybe yeah. it's a, is that an Irish thing? It you might just, be. You actually in this moment just reminded me, I was like, I was supposed to pay a water bill. <laughs> you pay the water bill. <laughs> See? See? About the water bill so I <laughs> see, see, gang, she's human like the rest of us, even though you see them on stage. She has a water bill, an electric bill, you know, car payments, all like the rest. <laughs> and that's what makes Celtic Woman terrific because they're real and approachable. <laughs> you know, that's sweet. That is funny. You're the best. Again, thanks so much, uh, Marin, for being with us here on the show. Thank and I you. wish you nothing but continued joy. And come back and see us again, okay? For sure. Thank you so much for having me. Take care. You're, you're welcome. And spread the word about our show. We would love that. Absolutely. Cheers. See you. Bye. Bye-bye now. Incredible, huh, to have her here on the show. She literally, uh, we were teasing, but she is packing because she's heading to Dublin. And then the whole gang... They are flying to the States, to North America, as they get ready for the tour. Just want to show you some more fabulous photos that we have here. This is from the actual PBS special. And again, grab your tickets. They are going fast. We already got our tickets. We're going to be there as well. And uh, again, you can go to CelticWoman.com slash tour hyphen dates, or just go to CelticWoman.com. You can also sign up for their newsletters, find out about the tour dates, album releases, special offers as they celebrate 20 years, which is unbelievable. The PBS special that was filmed in the Helix Theater in Dublin, taking fans on a journey back to where it all began. Elisa Kelly and Marie Nesbitt, popped on there, Chloe Agnew as well, some of the originals, which was really something very, very special. And uh, yeah, I, it's just, it's, I hard, you know, find it hard to believe it's been 20 years already. We're gonna take a look at some more of your comments, folks, as well. And um, thanks for all of them. As we mentioned, this was the very first time that I got a chance to meet the originals. And then it's just been a wonderful friendship ever since uh, emceeing and hosting and interviewing them on uh, American television and then staying friends. And many of them have been guests on our show, the Gym Masters show live. There of course is Chloe. And um, we've just had an extraordinary time again. And this was such an honor when we presented them with that big proclamation from the governor of the state of Connecticut, um, some studio shots and back behind the scenes shots. And again, David Downs, the creator of Celtic Woman. That was fantastic. And hey, gang, you know, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of the ladies have been on our show. This was the episode where Euler Fallon was on our show. As you can see, we were having a funny moment, as we always do on the Gym Master Show Live. You can see that episode. You can see the episode where uh, Mirren and Megan Walsh they were guests. Marie uh, Nesbitt has been a guest on our show, and Lisa Kelly has been on the show, and so many of the Celtic woman ladies have been on the show. All of those episodes are archived. Uh, Marie has been with us. Uh, she's also in Rock Me Amadeus, and that whole cast was just on our show recently, and um, that was fun. And then she was on just before that because we work together also with Tim Janis. This is uh, emceeing one of the concerts for Celtic Woman. We worked with Tim Janis on his uh, Christmas specials, uh, which is wonderful. That's again at the PBS studio, yours truly uh, doing our thing with uh, Celtic Woman and you know raising the support and all the rest. 20th anniversary album and DVD are available now. You can go to, again, CelticWoman.com. And uh, again, check out the tickets. They are going quickly. And again, this was really uh, something quite special. And, you know, I really appreciate Marin being with us because, as I mentioned, she is packing. But they've got, she mentioned something like 99 dates. I mean, it's going to be really something big as they celebrate the 20 years. I know many of you are huge fans of Celtic Woman, and we appreciate that. And you're also huge fans of our show. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up on our YouTube channel. We really appreciate that as well. 
I'm going to take a look at some more of the wonderful comments that are coming in. Uh, she can see your comments too, which is really something very, very special. And um, yeah, this is really cool stuff. We, we appreciate her joining us on the show, especially, you know, on the eve of uh, getting ready to come to the States to kick off the, the special. Let's take a look at some of your comments that are coming in here as we're celebrating. We got thumbs up from everybody and uh, thank you for your wonderful comments and sending you all the uh, Irish lovely hugs. Thank you. Appreciate all of this. And um, Teresa, good to see you once again as well. Have a safe tour, she is saying, and uh, spreading uh, some love there as well. And Tracy says, uh, see you very soon. And Kathleen's thanking her as well. And this is nice. And uh, ah, Demerit wants a Celtic woman to go to Paris. Well, if they go to Paris, I think I'm going to go too, and I'll let them see that one. <laughs> that would be a nice one uh, to come to Paris. Yeah, that's fantastic. We appreciate all these great comments, folks. This was really a terrific, terrific special. We put this together relatively quickly too, because I knew, and we we thank the management, my friends at the management, and uh, and PR, and of course uh, my terrific friend Anila uh, Anita. Uh, we appreciate her and love her and Nita Daly and everybody uh, behind the scenes at Celtic Woman. Uh, we've got a great relationship with them and uh, they've been so generous to uh, join us on the show. We appreciate uh, everything, folks. You want to help our series grow, even with all the hundreds of episodes we've done? Subscribe to our YouTube channel where this episode is archived and all the episodes are archived. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment for us to interact and like this episode, click the thumbs up, like, share the episode as well, and leave a comment for us on the YouTube channel. What is your favorite song from Celtic Woman? Have you ever seen Celtic Woman, you know, whether it's through their uh, specials on television in America, on public television, or have you ever had a chance to see them, you know, up close and personal, personal at meets and greets? Have you had an opportunity to see them on stage? Let us know. What are some of your favorite memories of the 20 years of Celtic Woman. Celebrate them with us. Uh, give us a like, share, comment, subscribe, and also leave a comment on the YouTube channel. If you want to support what we're doing, you can do super thanks, super emojis, uh, super stickers in the chat when the shows are on live or when the show isn't on live. You can also do something called super thanks, which is a little heart icon that's on all of the episodes of our series and that helps support what we're doing as well. I really hope you enjoyed this. Again, we put this together quick. We wanted to celebrate and honor Celtic Woman. Uh, and again, all of the talented people on stage and behind the scenes that make it happen. And for 20 years, two decades, they've been doing it. And it's my privilege and pleasure and honor to put this together. If you wanna see again, past episodes where some of your favorites from Celtic Woman have graced us with their presence. They've been guests on our show and the gang from Celtic Thunder and many other Irish artists. Just scroll back in our archives on the YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, and you can see all those great episodes, all the great conversations, the laughs, and so much more. Just want to show you again, two singles that have come out. Uh, I Know My Love and uh, You Raise Me Up, which is I mean, look who's there as well. Some of the originals are there, which uh, is quite amazing. So this was really special and really cool, folks, and uh, love doing this. I just want to let you know for folks who are watching live, who follow our show all the time, we have another show coming up at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, just a few hours. And boy, is this a big one. Carolyn Hennessy, who for years has starred as Diane Miller on the daytime drama here in America, General Hospital, the soap opera, which is celebrating its 60th, it's a, it's a day of anniversaries, Celtic Woman's 20th anniversary, General Hospital's 60th anniversary, and then the sitcom from the 70s, Happy Days, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Carolyn Hennessy from General Hospital, Anson Williams, who starred as Potsy Weber on Happy Days, they are both joining us live tonight. They are two television icons and they are coming to the Gym Master Show. They've both been guests before. They've been with us previously. 
You can scroll back in the archives and see when they were here. We had great conversations with them, but they're coming back today together because they are, they've put together an amazing one woman show that Carolyn is starring in called crazy mama. And Anson Williams is directing it. Two American television icons will be joining us on the gym master show tonight which is amazing. I just want to also let you know next week, we have the son of music icon, Ben E. King joining us. Ben E. King, there you see him in the middle of your screen in that graphic. He's known for songs like Save the Last Dance for Me, Stand By Me, and many, 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 many more huge hits. And uh, his son is going to be on our show and we're very excited about that. Also, don't forget, we've done wonderful episodes with legendary Aunt Margaret. We did a terrific special celebrating Dick Van Dyke. And of course, coming up, Carolyn Hennessy from General Hospital, Anson Williams from Happy Days. And one more time, we thank our very special guest, Marin O'Mahony, joining us here on the show, brilliant vocalist, and one of the members of Celtic Woman as they celebrate their 20th anniversary and they're embarking on their 20th anniversary tour. We wish them well. We'll be seeing them soon on tour. We've got our tickets. We're very excited about it. Get your tickets at celticwoman.com. Now, if you're watching this, you know, six months from now or a year from now, and you know, uh, the tour is over or what have you, maybe you're watching this two years from now and the tour is done. It's still nice to have the archives where you can see these episodes and enjoy, you know, all these cool things. So this was nice. Good stuff, gang. This was a pleasure. And uh, thanks for stopping by the show. We got to get ready for the next episode of our show. And we thank everybody for all the comments, all the zest, and all the love that is uh, coming our way. And uh, Kathleen says, love that sweater of yours, Jim. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate that as well. And um, mm, uh, that's it's nice and warm. <laughs> we have a little snow coming tomorrow. But it is nice and uh, warm. And uh, let's see. Got another one coming in from Tracy. Uh, on the recent Christmas tour, you went to the 50th. You went to the 50th Celtic Woman show. And uh, yeah, Maren gave a shout out uh, to you during that show. Loved it. You're getting a shout out here on the Jim Master Show. How nice is that? Jen Barry says, so nice that we uh, always come home to Jim and his show. Thank you, Jim Slancha. You are very, very welcome. Kathleen's going to join us later for the two television icons, Carolyn Hennessy and uh, Ansel Williams, joining us here. Thanks, everybody. We're going to scoot off. Uh, cheers to you as well, Merlin in Canada. Don't forget to leave comments on our YouTube channel. Celebrate what we're doing here. We love being here with all of you. And, of course, we thank you so very, very much for joining us here on the Gym Masters Show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We love you all of you who have done that. We welcome everybody who's new. If this is your first time watching the Gym Master Show live series, it's nice to have you with us. Come back and see us again. We'll keep the porch light on for you as well. This is your host, Jim Masters, thanking you for your time this time. Till next time, we love you all. We appreciate you stopping by JMS. We'll see you on the next episode. I'll be right here waiting for you. Happy anniversary, Celtic woman, and be well, everybody. Cheers. <laughs>